The Korean government has unveiled its second batch of tourism promotion measures, and it focuses mainly on enhancing domestic tourism. This includes plans to broaden tourism demand from the summer to spring and fall and provide greater financial support to tourist cities. Our presidential office correspondent, Oh Jinju, has this report. If the government's first set of tourism promotion measures in July was focused on bringing foreign tourists to Korea, its second batch of measures unveiled Monday is aimed at enhancing domestic tourism. The government laid out its plans in a meeting presided over by President Park Geun-hye on Monday. One part of the plan involves the establishment of so-called tourism weeks in spring and fall to more evenly distribute the nation's tourism demand, which currently peaks in the summer. The designation will cover a total of 22 days, from May 1st to the 11th and September 25th to October 5th. The Tourism Ministry and the Education Ministry are considering whether to close elementary, middle and high schools for short vacations during these periods. Also starting this year, the government will select three cities a year as tourist cities of the year. Each of the three cities will be provided with as much as $2.3 million over a three-year period. President Park stressed the government should make sure that boosting domestic tourism leads to economic revitalization and job creation. She called for world-class policies that are in line with the public's rising standards and those that bring out the unique characteristics of each region. Koreans spend around $23 billion a year on domestic tourism, triggering more than $36 billion in production and creating some 5 million jobs. The president emphasized that should domestic tourism increase by 10 percent above that, the effect would be enormous. The president was joined at today's meeting by UN World Tourism Organization Secretary General Taleb Rifai, who emphasized Korea's role in creating new opportunities for developing nations through tourism. Oh Jin Ju, Arirang News.